What is up guys, the real Damon Jackson here, and uh, today I wanted to talk about mercury and the ways you should store it. So, I have two different types of storage containers. One of them right here is glass, and this one is the original bottle, which is like a plastic. Now, I'm going to be comparing them, and so... I guess let's start. The pros of the plastic is that it's um it's flexible, you know, so you can you can squeeze it, you can you can drop it, and nothing will happen to the mercury or you if you have the if you have the cap on tight enough. But um it gets really nasty really quick. Like I removed all the mercury out of this and there's still some kind of nasty compound in there. I think it's an oxide of some kind. I, it might pull the oxygen through the plastic, or it might react with the plastic. And that's a huge con, because then you'll have to clean it, like in my mercury cleaning video, and it's kind of a big hassle that nobody wants to do. Um, the second option is glass, and this is the one that I really recommend, and I love storing mercury in glass, because it looks beautiful. And it doesn't get nasty, at least this this hasn't. And I I put it in this hourglass a long time ago. So you can see it's still still nice and pretty. You can see the single bead in there. And um it's easy to do, you know. If you're trying to seal it, I recommend like an ampule to seal it in. And this is not an ampule, it's just a just an hourglass like the ones you get at the dentist and I simply sealed it with hot glue at the end focus there see it's just hot glue and it's still not messed up it's pretty good and um, a, a, obviously a big thing with the glass is that it is dangerous like if you're somebody that's not careful you could you could um, drop it and it could break, and then you'll have to do a whole mercury cleanup with brooms and things. And that's kind of a big hassle. Have to, like, open up the windows and get a lot of ventilation and things. And you definitely don't want to spill mercury. But, like I said, it doesn't corrode for some reason in glass. Like, it's still shiny. Look at that. I could still see like my reflection on there. Uh, another way people have stored it is underwater, which works for kind of a good amount of time, I'd say. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it forever. I prefer um, just glass and air if you're trying to go cheap. But you could also do like uh, argon. You could try argon. That way it wouldn't have even a chance to react with the oxygen in there. You could just put like an argon blanket. Um, well, I tried acid. I tried um, hydrochloric acid, which wouldn't react with mercury normally. But you need, the problem is you need um, hydrochloric acid with no oxygen dissolved in it, which is kind of hard to do for if you're, if you're trying to go cheap. So it'll eventually surround the mercury in this nasty white sludge, which is um, probably mercury chloride. And that's, that's definitely not good to touch. That's a mercury salt, and that can damage your nerves. So that's my input on the subject. I don't know. So I... I I think the best option for somebody that's trying to store mercury is um, glass-air combo because it doesn't seem to have done anything and even if you increase the surface area on the mercury, like get a, a bigger jar of it, uh, it still won't do anything. I, I have a bigger jar and it just it looks exactly the same. Maybe with a little bit of film, but that's because I've opened the jar multiple times. So, um, yeah, that's my input. I'd like to hear you guys' comments or questions. 
probably a big question is why is this so random? Well, I've waited to do this video for a pretty long time, so I figured I'd just talk about it. Talk about Mercury, because it's, it's fun, you know? It's very mesmerizing to look at. That little, that little bead right there. But, um... Anyways, guys, uh, be safe, watch, like, comment, and subscribe, hit that bell, and I will see you in another video.